Good morning! I am moving the files from the laptop to this hard drive right here because I can't export the video until I take the files off and it looks like it's gonna be about an hour and it was like 12,000 files so yeah these guys know how to celebrate right transferring files over what what <laughs> they're they're so lazy you're literally the laziest dogs on the planet. Okay, it's a few hours later. Um, my friend Kita came over. She has an out of town wedding to go to. So she was, we were talking like wedding shoes and wedding dresses like to wear to a, an outdoor wedding. So that's what I was doing. But I just got out of the shower. My hair is all wet and gross. Um, we're going to have a hair appointment in a few hours. So I'm gonna get my hair re-dyed and Tim's gonna be home in a minute. So I wanted to show you, we opened this pizza, this Gino's all natural deep dish authentic pizza and it's pretty small. The size of the box really should have tipped me off, but it, it didn't. So um, I have this pizza here. I'm gonna put it in the oven. It's gonna take an hour to cook because it is pretty ding dang thick. So I can't wait. And just like that, 45 minutes later, the pizza is ready. It, uh, it looks good. I can't really tell. I don't know, I actually can't really tell. It just looks like a lot of sauce. But if the inside is anything like that, I will be a happy girl because that looks delicious. Also, my Sephora package came and I'm so happy. I was just opening up my Sephora package and the bubble wrap that they use doesn't pop. It's like non-popping bubble wrap. It like just goes from one bubble to the next bubble. So like, oh, oh. I scared our money. Oh, I'm sorry, no, our money. I'm sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no, but see how that whole row's gone now. That's crazy. Wow, this one almost popped too. Oh, ding dang. Don't do it again, it'll scare the dogs. So I wanted to give you guys just a super quick overview of what I got from Sephora. I know a lot of you guys don't really care about Sephora stuff, but it happened. So I want to show you what, what happened. I got the Kadali, I'm not saying this properly, but I got this Beauty Elixir, which I love. I don't think it does anything probably really for your face, but it just smells so awesome. So I will continue to buy it because I love it. Got some more of the cleansing cloths, the brightening cloths from the Ole Henriksen brand. I love these. I will continue to use these. They really make my skin feel better and I feel like it looks brighter. So I recommend it. And the last thing I bought was the Dr. Jart's Black Label Detox BB Beauty Balm. And it uh, only comes in one shade. It just so happens to be my perfect shade. So I really, really enjoy this stuff. I got it last month as a deluxe sample. And uh, I, so I bought the smaller version just so I could try it for like a full month. This was $19. For my deluxe sample this month, I got the Benefit Their Real Eyeliner. And it's a gel liner, which I've never actually used gel. So I don't know, we'll see how that works. And then I just got a couple of little freebie samples for ordering online. The Hairdresser's Invisible Oil, which I've never tried, but I would like to. I love Bumble and Bumble. Uh, this perfume I got last time and I really liked it. It's kind of like beachy, jasmine-y. And then the Daisy Bay Mark Jacob, which is just a pretty like standard scent. It smells really good. I really enjoy it. So there's another fun freebie, but that's what I got from Sephora, yay. Oh, I almost forgot for my like 100 point Thing. You know how you can like use your points and get like deluxe sample type stuff? I got this Ole Henriksen Sheer Transformation Moisturizer, which just basically is supposed to get rid of dark spots and things like that. So I'll let you know. But yeah, so that's my Sephora like mini haul. Yay! And I think the pizza is ready, so we should probably dig in. It did say not to use a pizza slicer, like the rolly slicer, because this pizza is too thick for a pizza slicer. So you have to use a knife. So like... Mm, yeah, do it. Perfect. I'm so scared. Whoa. I gotta like saw through it. It's like you're cutting a, a like loaf of bread. Oh no, I feel like I'm just ruining this pizza. How do you ruin a pizza? Like this. <laughs> no, I don't think so. And you said it was too thick for the, the pizza cutter? Yeah, it says not, it says specifically not to use a pizza cutter. Whoa. Can I use like pizza scissors? Anybody else use pizza scissors? I, I don't even think you scissors. could. I don't think you could use them on this. It's like too. Whoa. Whoa. Can you see it in there? Yeah, look at that. It's like under the sauce. Whoa. Oh yeah, there was a good good shot of it right there. It was like leaking out. Oh yeah, it looks mm. good. That looks awesome. Look at that cheese. Holy cow. I mean, I think I would say that this lives up to the hype of the box. Look at that cheese, holy cow. <laughs> Gino's East of Chicago, if you use my uh, my new slogan, look at that cheese, holy cow, I expect to see a royalty check in the mail. 
Look at that cheese, holy cow. Look at that cheese, holy cow. Doesn't that make you want to try this pizza? So what do you think of that pizza? I think it's really good. See? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I really like this a lot. Me, on the other hand, oh. I, uh, it's good, it's not bad. But I, I like my other pizza better. I like the home running in pizza better because this has a lot of like oregano on it. And it's not, oregano is not my favorite flavor. Isn't home run in pizza from Chicago too? Yes, but mm. it's not deep dish. No, I know that, but like, it's just funny that both of our favorites are from Chicago. Tell you what though, I would like a nice Chicago deep dish pizza, like the kind that's like, like fried almost, like Pizzeria Uno. I don't know if that's like true 100% Chicago pizza style, but it's good. I like Pizzeria Uno because it's like just a giant fried piece of dough with some cheese and sauce on it, which is good. I mean, these mannequins have no pants on. Oh, these guys are wearing dresses. Oh yeah, look at that. so cute. Wow. I like that one too. It kind of reminds me of like a Disney bounding dress. I don't know who it would be for though. Yeah, I don't know. This one, you can't wear that. That's crocheted. Well, I think that's a bathing suit cover up. <laughs> but we're here at Alchemy to get Jen's hair recolored purple. Yeah. And my hair is gonna like, I'm gonna cut my hair too, just to like trim it up. I think for the last time, like I'm gonna let it grow out now. Done. Nice and cleaned up. Now Jen's turn. Yeah. I'm gonna get repurposed. The thing that's kind of cool this time is because you can still sort of see my like highlights or like the dimension in my hair. It's I don't have to do as many foils, so it'll be a little bit cheaper this time. Which Ooh. Is good. Nice. Ah. Such purple. Yeah. It's like. Excellent. It looks black right now. I kind of like it. Like I don't know. I didn't know if I would really like dark colors on myself, but I really do. Something like um, oh, look at this with, you know, what is? Yeah. We ended up staying at the salon a little bit longer than first anticipated, so we didn't end up going to the Best Buy to get a new camera tonight. I think we'll do that tomorrow. But I really enjoy going to the salon. Like it's a very nice, relaxing time for me. Getting your hair washed at the salon is amazing. It gives you like a scalp massage feels so good. I wish that I could have that all the time. I want to like have somebody or an invention, doesn't have to be a person that just washes my hair. Like wake up in the morning and I come down and I just like fall back asleep but somebody's like washing my hair and like massaging my head. That sounds awesome. Like first thing in the morning, not quite awake but you're like waking up and somebody's massaging your head. Yeah. That sounds really amazing. By the way, I didn't set up another appointment after this one. I set one up for a month from now just to get it trimmed again. But we're gonna start growing out my hair again, like longer. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I enjoy changing my hair very often. So uh, the sides are, I'm gonna make the sides longer and the top will just be longer in general because that's what happens when hair grows. But my next haircut is not for a month. I was doing every two weeks and I liked it. It was nice. It's nice to have short hair in the summer down here because it's hot. It's very hot. And it helps me keep it cool. So I, I don't know what's going on, but like there are nights where it's late. Like it's 10 o'clock. It's 10 15. I gotta go to bed. I gotta get up at 4. But I feel like I haven't, like, I'm not done with the day yet. So I feel like I need to, like, stay up still. I don't really, I, like, there's nothing for me to do. I need to go to bed. But for whatever reason, in my mind, I'm like, oh, there's still stuff to do. I, like, there is stuff that I could be doing, but there's nothing that I need to do right now. I don't know. Very strange, maybe I'm just going a little bit crazy, so I will see you guys tomorrow, and now it's time to pay the price.